Hello and welcome to episode 6 of our Laurent campaign. In the last episode, we continued our expansion here in Kanor. We took a couple provinces off of Gawed and also off of, I believe it was Rubenair, that uh, we snagged these two southern provinces. And even with the lack of an empire, uh, a bit of a coalition is forming. They are not too happy with what we have been doing so far. It seems that the Magisterium, uh, the Damish Temple, and I think that was it that's actually actively joined at the moment, though more will um, most definitely do so. Especially these countries in this area. Now, Westham still technically likes us, uh, as does Pearl's Edge. So we are going to make sure that they stay out of said coalition, as they would uh, possibly make it fire. I'm not sure if this one will end up firing. I guess we'll, uh, we'll find out as soon as we unpause. It will either disband or it will... Uh, continue to grow now Tretton is independent I think they're declaring independence yes so they could join once they are at peace as I assume they will win Moonhaven is upset with me so they'll probably join Istralor as well is upset and they will probably join honestly I'm not too worried about it uh, at the end of the day we shall see now we need to take these five provinces right here to complete a mission uh, obviously that would We'll have to chill out for a little bit. Uh, I don't want to get coalition by all of the former empire, so we'll have to be a little bit careful. Uh, we did uh, just conquer stuff. We're still trying to core it up. Loyal vassals, Sorn cost is feeling a bit disloyal. Let's go ahead and placate them. Uh, as for national decisions, we have a queen regent that is a powerful mage, and her reign is about to come to an end, and Prince Kylian Silorial will take over the throne. Uh, we also started to colonize, so we are trying to get a colonial nation formed up in the Andraliande region just to try and get a mission completed. Now, one thing that we need to do for a mission is we need to build a port here in Laurent, and we're going to go ahead and do that when we take the next tech level, which is tech 7. Uh, but in preparation for all of that, we also need the Red Palace. Well, actually, we're ready to do the, uh, the Red Palace. New iron mine, that's some base production. Okay. So it seems that we just need to uh, chill out a little bit. Build some buildings, perhaps? Anything semi-decent at all? Uh, yeah, we'll build that. I'm sure we'll build some workshops on all of those provinces. And we will go ahead and unpause here. And they uh, they left the, uh, left the coalition. We're going to go over to the mages. Uh, unfortunately, I have already casted spells, so that is a, something to be a bit worried about. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, let's go ahead and also improve with Outraged Countries with the one diplomat we have. Duran wants a royal marriage. I will accept that. Same thing with Sworn Costs. I'll get them a little bit more loyal. Okay, and Duran instantly dies. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, of course. Yep, and now they're disloyal again because they died that's a bit unfortunate all right uh we don't need both those forts probably we'll keep them for now do we drill or do we make money i think we make money because uh our troop count isn't all that impressive to be honest with you in fact we're making a little bit how much from that is from war reps about four so we're making about six crowns uh from simply production value let's put up a couple more troops here Want to look a bit beefier, a little bit stronger. We are the number one world power, so we should be able to defend ourselves like we are number one. Uh, we have a very good heir, a 3-3-3, or a 3-5-4 heir. Current king is a 3-3-3, not too bad. And once again, we have a queen that is actually a powerful mage. That's two queens in a row. Now, which one of these do I want to go with? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. The improved relations is seeming very tempting, though. Very, very tempting. In fact, yeah, I think I'm going to go with it. Uh, I do want to do some decent expansion, and we just need the uh, aggressive expansion to go down. That's the only way we will be able to successfully do that. Now, let's continue to colonize here. Anything with, like, high development by any chance? No, not from the looks of it. Okay. We will simply send both colonists out. Not do well. Nobles demand old rights. Uh, we'll lose the government reform progress. We have some rebels. Westamerian. Okay. 
Uh, we could probably just suppress those, in all honesty. Yeah. Same thing with these rebels over here. They're not quite as willing to uh, put down their arms, but I think in the end they will see the truth. You need to come up here, because these rebels will definitely fire. Uh, let's go ahead and take that tech. And in Old Port, where are you? Right here. Let's get the shipyard built up. That'll be good. That'll be good. Get here. Uh, I can improve with Istralor a lot more, so let's do that. I think we're good on this. Wex declares war on Indleberry. That's fine. Improve relations. Yeah, I can do a lot there. Necklift. I can improve. So yeah, I just want to start improving with lots and lots of people. Oh, oh that's right. We have a, an alliance with Bustalar. I forgot about that. Air falls ill. Well, rip. Well, that's getting bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> uh, not taking a 1-2-2. Two, two. No thank you. Not interested. Not interested in the slightest, in fact. Need to core all of those up. A personal union possibility over Westmores. I mean, they're 16, so like, it's not going to happen, but that'd be kind of funny. We get our dynasty on their throne. Sounds good. Uh, soiree, a 4-4-3 air. Yes, I will gladly do that for 10 prestige. Uh, okay, so Lysaeon has, in fact, gone ahead and left for Rubyhold as an OPM. Uh, we are going to go ahead and... I'm glad they did that. That's beautiful. That's so much reconquest we're going to be able to do. Uh, first of all, let's proclaim a guarantee. Now, we did break their alliance with them, so they're not going to be thrilled with us. That's for sure. But that is okay. Uh, we'll start improving relations. I don't know how much more we can. Not much. Yeah, they're just going to be very, very mad that uh, we did that to them. Alright, the arsenal of Oldport. Oldport is the closest port to Laurentane, and as such has traditionally been an important place to our naval capabilities. Recently, however, it has fallen into disrepair. We must modernize it if we are to assert our naval strength. So we gain one base tax, two base production, three base manpower, until the end of the game, local sailors, local ship cost, and local ship repair bonuses. Okay, cool. So for the Summer Palace, I just need 200 crowns, and we'll get a bunch more development here. Which I would really, really love to do. Uh, let's take a look at our crown land. Where are we at here? We're at 30. Can I revoke some land? Yes, I can. Let's see some land. And you want some base tax development. I'll, uh, I'll give that to you. Give me that prestige, please. Alright, with Ruby Hold is completed. I'm not sure when we're going to be able to uh, ally them again. They're not interested in that. So I won't influence them until I have to, right? As for favors, though, I will increase their trust to get that as high as I can. Just to make sure that they are cool with me and all that. Alright, improving relations with Moonhaven is up. Uh, I'll wait for the Lysian War until I uh, can do a reconquest. And I'll reconquest all of this and then just take these one. That's so much development. That's 50 development right there. That's nuts. How in the world am I going to take all that without getting coalitioned into the ground? I don't know. Legitimately have no idea. Uh... Oh my god, you allied Westmores, really? And Lysaeon. Okay, well. Uh. Okay. Westmores won't currently join. Colonial Charter. No. I can't afford that. I'd love to, but I can't. Uh, but I can complete the Summer Palace. Red Fort has seen many battles in its life, from the near destruction by the dragon Nimrith to the. Nimrith the Red to numerous sieges during the Lilac Wars, and these times of Laurentius resurgency, it has also become a favorite of our rulers to spend the lazy summers. We must reinforce it so that no harm can come to pass. Nice. So we gain more development, we gain some state maintenance reduction, yearly prestige, 0.5, plus 5% garrison growth, plus 10% local defensiveness, and plus 50% local supply modifier. That is now a better fort. I mean, it's still a grasslands fort, so... Not fantastic, but it does protect their capital, at least. Uh, let's make sure we have both of these advisors ready to rock and roll at all times. Get those points rolling in. 
Venin wants some access, they are more than welcome to have it. Uh, Truce with Riveria is up in 1506. Let's go ahead and get into position to go to war with them. Or would I rather go to war with Pearview? It's guaranteed by Riveria anyway, so I might as well go here first and then take them out. For fun. Rand wants a royal marriage. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Busalar is calling me into a war. <clears throat> um, sure. Like, I'm not going to help you, but good luck. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> so that was enough for people to decide they want a, uh, a coalition. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, we're just going to let that form up. Not too much I can do about it. Not if I want to uh, be able to go out Riveria when I get the truce on cooldown. Uh, if my voice sounds a little weird today, I apologize. I did have some mouth surgery on Monday, and I'm recording this on uh, Thursday, I think. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. <laughs> Time has been a little bit off for me. Uh, I've been taking lots of painkillers and such, so... Yeah, if it sounds a little weird, that's why. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead for the mages. I'm going to cast spells, and I'm going to host Magical Feast. It's going to put us into debt, that's fine, but it'll give improved relations plus 30%. Uh, and we will simply exploit some tax development in order to get rid of this debt. I don't like debt. I don't want to take loans. If there are ways around it, I will do so, but it seems that uh, we do not have a way around this. Anybody have favors they want to, like, give me? Wex? I doubt Wex has any money. They are. Oh, wow. Wow. They, very helpful, Wex. Thank you. I mean, I'm surprised they have money. Usually Wex is in debt. Uh, well, guess we're just going to take a loan. Rip. That's a big loan, too. Uh, let's prove neighboring countries. But since we have the money, we might as well spend it, right? Uh, you're decent. You're pretty good. It's fine. Have a little bit of cash. Make sure we don't go into more debt during this war. Uh, times of need. Our coffers are getting worryingly light. Someone give me money. I don't know who it was. Nice. Thank you, Buslar, for the 50 crowns. Wow, they are rolling them. This is expansionist. Okay. I mean, that is the thing that happens when the Empire dies. We're going to see some weird stuff going on. Alright, we got to declare on Riveria before they decide to join the Coalition. You come down, you deal with Lasseon, you have the uh, cannon, so you move on to that fort. Merchants can learn from it. What are we farthest behind on for tech? Uh, technically, yeah, we're, we're behind on admin, so... Go ahead and grab that admin. Uh, how much money are we making? We're making 10. Most of that's from looting foreign cities, though. So I can't afford to go to a level 2 advisor at the moment, which is a bit disappointing. Let's pop out and fight this army. Yeah. Get wrecked. Uh, we'll just send those troops there, and you can go on to here. Ruby Hold, are you willing to ally me yet? You are, in fact, willing to ally me now. So... Let's make sure that uh, you're like transferring trade power and all of that kind of stuff. Oh, nice. One of our colonies is already finished. Really? They zoom it. They, they zoom it. Uh, that'll be one, two, three, four, five. That'll give us a colonial nation. So let's focus up into the north here. Uh, I don't know if Delaire is somewhere that I need to expand for the mission tree, but I know that it is very valuable for us to at least try and grab something. That way we can expand there if we want to. Uh, Westham is currently 38. Huh. That's... Tempting. That's honestly tempting because that's a lot of development. Look at this. I mean, that's... That's a lot. So, I'm going to throw a royal marriage their way. We'll get, we'll get our dynasty on there. And hopefully it works out. <laughs> hopefully it does. That would be nice. Nice, right, so we've won the Siege of Carverhold. And again, all I'm looking for in this war are my claims. Just give me these two. And, like, we'll be we'll be good. And max money, of course. So. War reps. 
Uh, but that's all I want for now. I'll definitely be taking more from Rivari in the future. Do not worry about that one. But, uh, yeah, there's other places I want to spend my aggressive expansion. Gawed is no longer a great power. You love to see that. You really do. Are right, you Lair is now going to war with BPEC. Things are starting to heat up in the old empire. Things are starting to collapse, and we do love to see that. We do love to see that. All right, let's engage here. Should be an absolute slaughter. Yeah. Absolutely no chance whatsoever. Uh, I would like to break Lysanne's uh, alliance with Riveria, if at all possible. It seems that uh, it doesn't want to do that for us. It doesn't want to take the fort. I would appreciate it. We could take the fort, though. That'd be nice. Uh, gnomes, are you willing to be vassalized? No. I'll have to do it uh, a little bit more aggressively, perhaps. All right. Lysanne, can I break your alliance with... Bavaria? Yeah. I can. Let's do that. Now let's go at them a little bit faster. Uh, let's make sure that we're going to work here. Unless they join that trade league, they might have. No, but they are in the coalition against me. Right now it's just beef peck. And them. So, like, that's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and declare that, especially before we uh, peace out and get even more aggressive expansion. I think it would be a very good idea to take advantage of the situation. Like, yeah, we're worth BPEC, but that's a lot of money that I can pull out of BPEC, which is something that we do kind of need in order to scale up a bit. Uh, Riveria, Riveria, Riveria. Can I get out right now for less money? No. Okay, then we are not going to leave this war. <laughs> it's as simple as that, my guy. I demand the monies. I need the monies. Uh, that's bad. I should have, I should have moved these 15k back. Um, but oh well, we were able to reinforce it. It's not the end of the world. Just slightly unfortunate. All right, now we will just move forward slowly but surely. You 11 can move back up. You can reinforce that. Uh, VPAC's armies are going to be absolute trash, so I have no problem engaging them in combat. Even if we are slightly, uh, or we don't have like a large advantage, they'll be fine. We can catch them at any point. Uh, let's split up. We don't need to lose too much manpower here. Man, they're fast. Who thought the halflings would be so fast? Just, I just want to wipe your armies. That's it. Ooh, okay. Well, that hurt a bit more than I thought it was going to. Not gonna lie. Uh, that's fine, though. That is fine. Let's send these troops up to their capital. You guys can continue to siege. I don't know where all of our various troops are. There they are. That's good to know. We have 8,000 there. Nice. So they have been locked in. By my vassals, so we'll send you to deal with rebels. Uh, they're going to be coming out from the north, Riveria, that is. So we'll have to try and avoid that. Ah, they backtracked. Well, those troops are just dead. Yep. I thought they were going to come all the way around, but I got a little greedy. A little greedy. That's fine. Why did my vassal leave? Come on, man. Like, you were on the fort. You were exactly where I needed you to be. And you, you backed off. Kind of infuriating, I'm not going to lie. Um, Let's see here. Yeah, we'll take tech. If I just take their capital, then I can piece them out. Like, that's all it's going to take. Uh, let's get a government reform in. Cheaper advisors, sure. Dude, come on. 64%? Are you kidding me? Come on. How many times can we fail a 64%? That is the question of the day. I have a feeling it's a lot. Okay, thank you. 64%, whatever. Not actually 64%. Get out of here. Uh, that's all I need. I don't really want to do anything else. So, thank you for the money. Thank you for the land. I appreciate it. Can't court up because we can't afford it. Uh, BPEC is already on low, but we cannot actually separate piece them out. 
because they are part of a coalition. Something that I did not take into consideration. Let's bring these troops back. Uh, we are going to move on up. And we can send our free siege general on there with a the cannon. That should help a lot. Truce with Exmas is up. That's fine. Kathleen Food Festival. Okay. Uh, you unfortunately did get an heir. So, that's a bit sad. Uh, Ruby Hold. Let's go ahead and start the whole influence thing. Do to do. Influence Nation. There we go. They should be willing to peace out now. You are definitely willing to. Give me war apps, transfer your trade power. Uh, give up your claims, sure. Uh, still no, we're gonna have to fully cease down BPEC, which is fine, because I don't have to do it. <laughs> I just leave my vassals to do that. Uh, I'm going to have some rebels in the south. Let's send the troops down to deal with them. Royal marriage with Wex is up. They have no heir and are 19 years old. Uh, how many favors do I have? Enough. I have enough. Let's go ahead and ask to put my dynasty on their throne. It will give us a bit of aggressive expansion. That's okay. Should do well for us in the long run. All right, BPEC, uh, you were not a co-belligerent, I don't think, and I don't want your land yet. I will be getting claims on it, so there's no reason to do so. 30 crowns, and go ahead and peace out. Perfect. So we'll start to core up all of that, bring our troops back home. Uh, now we just need these two, which is going to be so much AE. It's going to be so much AE for like 50 development. That's nuts. Uh, Ruby Hold, let's continue to make them happy, keep improving those relations with them. They are currently at 150. Do you have any rivals? You do. Hello. Well, speaking of rivals, scornful insult. Yes, please. We're at 178. 180. Well, can I perhaps offer you a small gift in these trying times? Now, we should be able to... What are you doing? Yeah. Oh, I just forgot to ally them, so I didn't need to spend all that money. Oh well. There we go. So we now have another vassal in which we can reclaim all of this. Westham wants an alliance. Uh... No? Sorry? I know, like, I really married you and everything, but, like, that was... That wasn't, like, me wanting to have an actual, like, long-term relationship. It was, it, you know, you know how it be. You know how it be. Uh, also, we did not form a colonial nation here. So... I don't know what happened. One, two, three, four, five. That's five. So unless I'm crazy, and something's changed... I don't know, maybe this doesn't count... As in a colonial region? I'm not entirely sure, but we'll send another colonist down to the, the southern area to deal with that. We could invest in new stuff. Not going to. I'd rather take tech. Uh, we are sitting here taking attrition for no reason. So let's not do that. Let's suppress some rebels. We will say no thank you to them. They are not welcome to do the whole rebellion thing. We will take a pass. Thank you for the offer, though. We are making a lot of money now. Let's build up a couple more infantry, about 5,000 more. Make ourselves look kind of big and scary. And I am going to start coring, or start stating some stuff down here, because it's very, very good land. I mean, you saw that, it was 96 development that we didn't have stated up. It's very expensive admin-wise, but, you know, manpower, money, trade, it's absolutely worth it. Absolutely worth it. Cheaper dip tech cost. Love to see that. How close to embracing colonialism am I? I'm almost there. Uh, and with no rebels, I'd actually be able to do it. So let's go ahead and delete those guys. We can seize some land and then instantly sell titles for an additional thousand crowns. And then we can embrace colonialism. That means that we can now take dip tech for no extra cost. And we are only one tech behind on admin. Things are looking good. Looking good. Uh, Durant. Hello. If I wanted to annex, you would take until 1526. Let's go ahead and do that. It will cost quite a bit of Diplo. Five per month, but 
I think in the end it will be worth it. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this. Get these centers of trade under our control. Uh, it looks like Sorn, Sornic Suns. I think they leave Sorncost. Now, I, I, can't, I know I've said this a couple times. I think Sorncost will leave. Like, they'll just leave. They'll go to the New World and I will get all of this land. I think that's how that works. I really hope it is because I don't want to integrate them. That takes a lot of work. <laughs> a lot of points. Uh, we are almost at our governing capacity, which is a bit concerning. Uh, as there is some more stuff I'd like to state, like the lower blood wine is pre lower uh, wine bay, sorry. I'm going to also be stating up. It said, yeah, we'll be going over our governing capacity for that uh, once we fully state it. But that's fine. We'll figure it out, right? We'll figure it out. Uh, truce with Lasean is up in 1513. We have one year remaining. We probably won't do that war today. That'll probably have to be saved for the next one. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll take tech now. Get a little bit of innovativeness. No, what? Always the top one. Yeah, we are at 615 of 600, so I am going to need to go ahead and give out a land rights. Unless I'm missing something? I don't think I am. This will take us into negative crown land at 25, but we'll survive. Okay, Truce with Lysayan is up. Uh, coalition threat? Still there. Doesn't seem that they're interested at the moment. For that. Well, I mean, we kind of have to go for it, right? Like, at some point or another, we do. Uh, I gotta get this 50 development. I need to get Ruby Hold's cores back. Are they one warable? Yes, they are one war. So we'll probably go for Reconquest and then just pay the stupid amounts of Diplo. We'll have to pay for these two. But I think that's what I'm going to call it for today. I think that's a, a decent place to end it off. This war with Lysan could take quite a bit of time because we are going to have to go through and siege a bunch of mountain forts and uh well that does not sound like something that i want to do at the moment so i would like to thank you all for watching and i hope to see you in the next one